Good morning, beautiful people. It is your favorite blogger, Miss Trish. On this lovely Wednesday, it's sunny outside. Let us grab a coffee together on this episode of Coffee Chronicles to talk about some of these Golden Globe styles that we seen last night. Have you ever felt? Are you listening? Damn. Uh. Yeah. Okay, so my coffee is here. Yay! I prefer a dark roast. What do you guys like? <laughs> I love dark roast. Anyways, so the 80th Golden Globes happened last night. Yay! Oh my God. Like, if you really think about it, the 80th? That's really long. <laughs> anyway, I digress. So the 80th Golden Globes happened last night. And my takeaway from it all was two things. Eddie Murphy's speech. <laughs> I thought it was funny. I laughed. And if you don't didn't see it, I will probably play it at the end of this clip if I'm allowed to. Or just go Google it. And my second takeaway was Angela Bassett won. Hey, uh, she like deserves it. The last time that she got a Golden Globes was for What's Love Got to Do With It. And that was years ago. Do you guys remember that movie? Oh my goodness. So let me go into the fashion though. What I like, what I didn't like. And I want you guys to also comment and let me know what you like versus what you didn't like either. I'm going to start with my favorite looks. So let's go. My absolute favorite look of the night was Quinta Brenson from Downtown Abbey. I am completely loving her dress because it has a simplicity to it, but it also has the fluffs in the right places. She's wearing the perfect jewelry. Her makeup is done so flawlessly. The accent of colors, the put togetherness of her dress. I love it. It fits her so nicely. I'm like, yeah, this is perfect. And I like the fact that her hair is slicked back so you could actually see the whole body and the whole dress. Yes, Quinta, get it, girl. She was my best, best dress. All right, let me go to my second best dress now. <laughs> My second favorite is the queen. Of course, she won for the Marvel movies, Miss Angela Bassett. The only reason why I chose her second is because I like a little boob. I like a little cleavage. But check her out in this wonderful, beautiful silver dress. It just hugs her tight. I like that it shows her nice cut arms. Check it out. Check it out. I tend, I have a thing for shimmer. As you can tell, <laughs> if you know me well, you know that I have a thing for shimmer. I have a thing for shine, bright, bling, all that stuff. Anyways, let me go to number three. My number third favorite, judge me if you want, I really don't care, is Jennifer Hudson. I like her gold glimmer and there's a part open right here and it just gives a little mystery. You know what I'm saying? Like, I like that on her. Um, her hair... Not so much, but I do like when women wear like, you know, gowns and the hair is either up or back because I feel that it gives more view to the gown, to the outfit. You know what I'm saying? So I do love her look entirely. I think Jennifer Hudson looks fabulously great. And surprisingly, I didn't think I would like her TV show. I'm not going to lie because I'm like, she's an amazing singer, but what kind of personality does she have? But I like her show too. So I like those three as my top three best dress. Now, I'm going to not say worst dress, but the ones that I least favor. Let's get into that. Again, not worst dress because we have to watch our words. You know, this is this is what these people chose to wear. But I mean, the questionable ones or the ones where I'm just like, mm, you know, mm, not entirely quite my cup of coffee, so to speak. Um, Selena Gomez. For me, I the dress in itself is cool. I don't like the big, like, fluffs on the side of her arm. Remember when I said with Quinta Brenson that I found that the flare and the fluffs were in the right place? But for me, I just think that her dress could have done without all this, all the balloons on the side. You know what I'm saying? That's that's how I feel. I feel like, it, like that part of the dress was unnecessary, but everything else, I feel like she looked okay. Again, not worse dressed, but... I mean, I'm no big fashionista. I'm just going off of like what I saw last night. And I'm like, mm. Tyler James Williams. Remember the show Everybody Hates Chris? I know it's 2023 and I know fashion is changing. And it's also, you know, 
subjective to a lot of people. Um, but for me, I'm not sure. I This suits, I was confused. I was like, is it a short top? Is it a short jacket? Is it leather? Is it velvet? What's going on? Maybe I didn't read the details and stuff like that. But forever, for me, I'm just like, this suit and me and him, there was a no for me. Last but not least, I don't think she was badly dressed. I just think it was not the occasion. You know when you say read the room, time and place type of thing? I don't think she was badly dressed at all. Um, Heidi Klum. I just feel like her dress looks like she's going to a club type of situation. And it's cool, but that ain't the club. The club is after the Golden Globes. Heidi, you, you wrong for that. It's the wrong time. I, I don't know. I don't, like I said, I don't think she was badly dressed. I just think that like... Her team, her stylist could have said, mm, maybe that not for this time of the evening. You, <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? So yeah, those are my, you know, my little picks for best and questionable. I would never say worst, but just questionable. <clears throat> so those were my favorites. Overall, I do feel that everybody dressed pretty decent. Like some of these award shows, you watch them and you're like, What's everybody wearing? Who styled everybody? But for this one, I thought that everybody dressed exceptionally well. I'm going to shout out some honorary mentions that I also didn't put on my list because I just wanted to do my favorites. So we have Rihanna and Aesop Rocky. I thought that they looked so cute together, of course, as usual. Uh, Cheryl Lee Ralph, Regina Hall. She is so hilarious. Oh my God. When she was doing Kevin Costner's <laughs> acceptance speech, hello, she made me laugh. That was funny. Uh, Marco Robbie, she looked amazing. I really loved her dress. Um... Henry Golding, J. Ellis for the men, and Coleman Domingo. Very, very, very nice. So I hope you had a good time having coffee with me this morning. Mm -hmm. On this episode of Coffee Chronicles, me going over my favorite Golden Globe looks of 2023. There will be more to come. Have a blessed Wednesday in whatever you do. And I will see you guys again soon. Thank you for watching. Make sure to subscribe because there will be more and more and more to come. Much love. Oh, 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 oh,